Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome to a game called Wolf Quest. This is something that I have received so many requests from you guys to play in the past, so I'm super excited to see how we're going to get along raising our own little wolf pack. I've never actually tried this game before, but oh my gosh, how adorable are these little peepy wolves. I hope we'll get the chance to have some puppies of our own in the future. So I guess we're going to start a brand new single player game. We'll want to start right at the beginning, of course, on Amethyst Mountain. And now we get to make our wolf, too. So I have a couple ideas in mind for our very first wolf character. We'll be playing as a male wolf, and we're going to name this little guy B, as in Bumblebee. Since this is my first time playing, I do expect to make many, many mistakes here. So I figured Bumble would actually be a pretty good name for him. Like, I can see him being particularly sensitive to this. So he would want to be called Beam, but most of the creatures who know him are probably going to call him Bumble instead. So if we could find... yeah, like a nice golden color to use, I think that would probably fit him pretty well. Oh, do they have like scars down here too? Oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like these change up the fur types as well. And that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Though then again, I think we can change the colors right here. Oh, interesting. So we could make any of these look like a little bumble. A nice golden color to blend in with the fall time scenery. I kind of like this one, actually. It's a little bit gruesome with the scars on his head. But if he's going to be clumsy, I could see him getting himself into some pretty sticky situations. Oh, that one is really pretty, too. And they all have those beautiful Colton eyes. I think we're going to go with this one, though. I do like this one quite a bit. So let's go ahead and start our very first game here. Fingers crossed we're going to be able to survive. I'm a little bit nervous, guys. So our first mission is a quest for a mate. You are a two-year-old gray wolf born in the northern range of the Yellowstone National Park. You learn the ways of the wolf in your birth pack. Now it's time for you to find a home and build your own family. But first, you must learn to survive. Find and hunt elk. Once you've mastered that, you can begin your quest to find a mate. Visit the Stranger Wolf territories. Most wolves will defend their territory, but there are some dispersal wolves like you, leaving their home territory in search of a mate. Remember, you won't meet such a wolf until you're a skilled hunter of elk. Ah, so Bumble needs to impress his future mate by showing how great of a hunter he is. Well, this is going to be pretty interesting then. It's- oh. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of controls. Okay, I'm sure we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, it sounds like Bumble is actually trying to start his own pack out here in the wilds. So that's pretty cool. How hard of a life now. When food is readily available, the life of a wild wolf is relatively easy. When food is scarce, even the toughest of wolves have a hard time. How hard do you want your life to be? Well, if I'm being honest, pretty easy would be nice. I mean, we are just starting out on our very first game. Let's go with pretty easy. And if we decide to play it some more after we learn how to play the game, then we'll try some of the more challenging difficulties. For now, Bumble just needs to find his footing. Is he out here somewhere? Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh, you blend in so well with the scenery, Bumble. Well, hopefully that's going to help you hunt then because I think I actually see an elk out in the distance. So do we just need to run up on her? I know that Q was the sprint key. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's go and just try to take her down, I guess. Let's see if we can do it. It looks like she's actually pretty weak. So as long as we can catch up to her, maybe we can land a nice good bite in. Oh, she is pretty fast, though. Attacking the elk. When attacking elk, press your spacebar right-click to bite. All right. I think we can handle that bumble. You're super close now. Go ahead and lunge. Yes! Oh, hopefully she's not going to use those hooves of hers, though. That would definitely hurt, taking a hoof to the face. You're doing pretty good for your first time, Bumble. Just a couple more bites, and hopefully we'll be able to slow her down. I mean, she is really, really fast. I think we might be slowing down. Oh, wait a second. You see that green bar up in the corner? That was actually going down while he was running. Oh, I think he was starting to get a little bit slow because he was running for too long. All right, we're going to have to keep that in mind then. Let's see if after resting for a little while, he can catch up again. There we go. Oh, it looks like she's actually standing off with us now. Is she still there? The camera's a little bit tricky. 
Okay, about the compass now. I don't think we're ready for this just yet, though. We're kind of battling an elk right now. Explore the wilderness to find elk herds and other wolves. Where are they? The compass points you to elk hunting grounds and the wolf territories, where in Amethyst Mountains, you may meet another dispersal wolf like yourself. The brighter those icons on the compass, the closer they are to you. All right, so they're talking about this thing right over here. And it looks like there are actually some wolves there. I'm not really sure what this windy icon is, but honestly, we need to take care of this elk before we do anything else. Did she just hit us? Oh, poor Bumble, you're getting hit. All right. So if we get too close, she's going to use those big hooves of hers to hit us. I guess that makes sense. She's just trying to defend her own life. Oh my gosh, Bumble, though, you are getting so hurt. At least we're pretty close to taking her down, but I'm not really sure if there's a way for us to get around that. Like, it seems any time we get close enough to land a bite, she's going to hit us too. Oh, just go for the kill, Bumble. There you go. Oh my gosh, it wasn't pretty, but you managed to take down the elk. Alright, so it looks like that red bar up underneath the bee's name is actually our hunger. I feel like that's connected to our health too, though, because every single time she kicked us, we lost a little bit of that red bar. Alright, Bumble. Yeah, it definitely wasn't pretty, but at least you managed to catch one meal. So they said we have to follow the compass, and it looks like there's actually an elk herd, like, off of this way. If we could stop sprinting, though, that would be excellent. We don't need to use up any of your energy. So the elk must be in the forest. I can't really see them right now. Well, there might be something out there. There's kind of like those little white icons. Are those just trees or something? Maybe fallen logs? Oh yeah, those just look like plants. Yep, those are just fallen trees. But this is apparently the elk hunting ground. You've encountered an elk hunting ground. There's an elk herd around here somewhere. Use your scent view, which is the W key, to locate the herd scent. Then follow the brightest color to the herd. Watch the wind direction. Oh, maybe that's what that windy icon was? You'll do better if you approach the herd from downwind. Okay. Downwind, huh? Does that mean from this angle, then? Because it looks like the wind is blowing toward us now. Well, let's just give it a try, I guess. We're supposed to use our smelling view. Oh my gosh. To figure out where the brightest color is. That one off in the distance is awfully bright. Do you think that's what we're supposed to follow? I mean, we have all of these tiny little dots. Should we follow these instead? Oh, how to rest and sleep? To sit down for a rest, press the R key on your keyboard. Press R again to lay down, and you'll regain your stamina faster. Oh, that's good to know. Alright, and we can sleep until another day, too. And I just noticed up on the right-hand corner, it actually shows how far away the elk are, kind of. Like, how long it's been since they were here. So these elk were here four minutes ago. Uh, and it looks like we are going in the right direction. Okay, we're getting closer. Now it's only two minutes ago. So do you see the elk yet? It looks like they may have actually split into different directions. Oh, wait a second. Oh my gosh, they're all right there. Okay, Bumble. I guess you're going to have to pick which one to go after. Now we definitely want to pick an elk that is a little bit weaker than most. So if we can see like which one has less health. The one that we took down before was already pretty weak as it was. But the closer we get, the more likely they are to notice us. I think I hear some geese too. Oh my goodness, don't give us away. Sounding the alarm and making it tougher for us to hunt down our elk. Alright, so that elk right there has a tiny bit taken off of her lifespan. Yeah, they definitely see us though. I think we're just going to have to pick one. Maybe we can make one, like, separate from the group. Oh, like this one right here. Yes, and that one's pretty weak too. Oh, that one's perfect. Yes, we're going to chase you right away from the rest of the herd. That way they can't help her, of course. So let's see if we can land a good bite in. There we go. Excellent, Pumble. You're doing so well. Oh, but he's getting tired now. Okay, so I think that said the R key will have us sit down. Yeah, that'll let us regain our stamina faster, but we don't want this elk going straight back toward the rest of her herd. We have to keep her away from them. So let's land in a few more bites. I think a few more and she should be too tired. Let's have him arrest again, though. Don't you dare go back toward that herd. And then if we catch up to her and cut her off from the front. Oh, jeez. She is trying so hard to get back to her family. I mean, I feel kind of bad. 
But at the same time, this is exactly what wolves would be doing in the wild, right? There we go. Okay, Bumble, now it's time for the standoff. So you're just gonna have to go in for the kill, even though she's going to be hitting you with those big giant hooves of hers. Just to land as many attacks in as you can. There we go. Oh, Bumble, you did it again. So let's have him go ahead and take his reward. Your second victory of the day, Bumble. You are doing excellent. Maybe I should really be calling him B. I mean, he's doing pretty darn good. So we managed to take down another elk. Like, are we master elk hunters now? Maybe if we go back toward the elk herd, they'll tell us some more. It's interesting too that the carcasses stay there. So maybe if we do need to like come back and get some more food, we'll just have to remember where they are. Oh no, the herd is coming over to see what happened to their friend. Well, sorry guys, you are not going to be very happy with us. Ooh, what's that over there? A coyote. Oh my gosh, did you actually like take down one of the elks yourself? We can actually chase after the coyotes too. Oh, interesting. I wonder if they'll try to steal our food then. We'll have to keep that in mind. I don't see much of a reason for us to go after the coyote right now, but I am definitely going to keep that in mind for the future. So there's actually quite a few more animals out here than just the elk. Do you think maybe we should go toward one of the wolf territories? I mean, we've hunted an elk now. Surely that makes us master hunters. Surely somebody will be impressed with our victories. The only problem is this seems to be like directly carrying our scent toward the wolf. You see that little windy icon? It's going straight toward where the wolf is. So we're not exactly approaching them at the right angle. Like if this wolf doesn't want to interact with us, we're going to be in for quite some trouble. This must be their territory out here. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be like an entire wolf pack or if it's just going to be one of the dispersal wolves like they call the bee. I still don't see anybody out there though. Maybe we should do a little bit of running that we can get there faster. Yeah, it's got to be so, so close. Oh, oh, it's just another coyote. Oh my gosh, I thought you were a wolf. Well, we'll let you be on your merry way then. Hopefully that coyote isn't disturbing the wolves up this way. Like again, I would imagine they would be pretty, pretty vicious if they've already been stolen from by the coyotes. All right, so now we're in a stranger wolf's territory. Use your scent view to track scent trails, following the brightest color to find a wolf here. Most wolves here will defend their territory, but some will be dispersal wolves leaving their home territory, who might become your mate. You won't meet such a wolf until you've earned at least 800 experience points by hunting elk. Okay, I think we might be a little bit too short then. I noticed that we were earning like 100 points every time we took down an elk, but just out of curiosity, like, are there any wolves around here? Ooh, hello. Is this a wolf scent mark? It must be, but it's not really telling us how far away they are. I guess this kind of marks out their territory then. Very, very interesting. But yeah, something tells me, B, that you are not exactly ready to go meeting any enemy wolf packs. So let's go back to those elk and see if we can become a true master elk hunter. There's actually other herds out here that we could probably go toward as well. It looks like this one that we already went to is still the closest though. And B is also pretty familiar with them, so we should probably just stick with those. It kind of makes me wonder if we should go after the coyotes though. I wonder if they would give us like any experience points for taking those down. Because otherwise I think we're going to have to take down like eight elks. Okay, so we're back inside the elk hunting ground now. Let's see if we can find them again. We'll use our scent tracking skills to go straight toward the herd. What are those plumes of smoke though? Oh, those are the carcasses? Interesting, and oh, that's a fox. Oh, is this yours? Like, honestly, I don't think a fox is going to be taking down an elk, especially not all on their own. They must just be scavenging in the area then. They know that B has been doing a pretty good job taking these elk down. Oh, and look at that. We can even follow the fox's scent. So it looks like the little green dots are for the fox. And this just so happens to be a female fox too. But the elk can't be very far. Ah, oh, there they are, right between the trees. All right. So let's see if we can find the next one to take down. I think our best bet is going to be just once again trying to get one away from the herd. Maybe this one way off in the front? 
Yeah, and it looks like she's pretty weak already, too. All right, this is your chance, B. Go ahead and prove yourself, elk number three. You're almost close enough to land your first bite. There we go. So yeah, I think we just have to stay as close as possible to this elk. We do have to stop every now and then to rest. But as long as we're careful not to let this elk go back toward the rest of the herd, I think we should still be okay. We're leading this one pretty far away. So unless the herd is following us too, I think there's probably no help for this guy. All right, again, pretty close again, so go ahead and rest. And then jump in front and land another good blow. We're actually leading her straight out of the forest entirely. Oh, geez. Wait a second. He was kind of caught right underneath her hooves. I couldn't seem to land any attacks. Okay, try again. You're getting kind of close to the end of your lifespan, though. That health bar is going really, really down. I think we can make it, but you are going to have to have like a gigantic feast now to regain your energy. All right, go ahead and reap the rewards. Now, I wonder if there's any place where we can actually see our experience points. It would be really nice if we could see how close we're getting. Oh, there we go. In pack stats, we can see that we have only 300 experience points. So yeah, do we truly need to take down eight elk just so we can get a mate? I mean, I guess it makes sense. A wolf mate is going to want to make sure that we can feed our pups. But yeah, I kind of want to see if we can take down anything else aside from the elk too. So let's try exploring out in this direction a little bit. I suppose we could always use our smelling vision just to see what's in the area. Maybe there'll be more foxes out here, more of those coyotes. We've seen plenty of those coyotes so far, so why don't we try to take one of those down? There's actually not very much in this wide open territory out here, kind of like where we started actually. I suppose all of the animals are taking cover inside the forest, which does make sense. Maybe if we stay along the outskirts, we'll find something interesting. I mean, there has to be something around here of all of these carcasses. Oh yes, the coyote! Oh my gosh! Okay, let's see if we can take this guy down. Oh, that's kind of sad. It's such a tiny, tiny little coyote. I think we should be able to take it down pretty easily, though. It's definitely easier to take down a coyote than one of the elk. Alright, and that only gave us 25 points. Oh, that is too sad. So that's more a situation if one of the coyotes are trying to take our food, or if maybe one of the coyotes is intruding upon our territory. At least we know how to take care of the coyotes now. We know that it's not too much of a threat, I guess. So in the future... Were those the geese? Something just flew over our head. That was pretty wild. Yeah, in the future, when we do finally have our own territory, B is going to be an expert at keeping the place safe. So all of this is helping him learn, and hopefully all of this will help him attract that elusive mate in the future too. Let's go ahead and try to take down one more elk, I guess, back inside the elk hunting ground. And that should put us at about the halfway mark for the end of our goal. So can you go ahead and sniff out some of the elk for us? I don't really see any of those markers around. There's plenty of carcasses, though. Do you think maybe we've spooked them off? Like, killing so many of the elks, maybe they just decided to leave? This is still technically an elk hunting ground, but I just don't see any of the scent markers. And I can't seem to find them anywhere. I'm getting a little bit concerned. Maybe we need to go toward one of the other elk hunting grounds. There is one off this way. So let's hurry up and try to find it, I guess. We don't want B to get too hungry after all. That's only going to make it harder for him to actually take down the elk. We might have to stop at one of the carcasses along the way, because I'm sure there's probably plenty. Oh, there they are, hiding right on the outskirts of this hunting territory. Alrighty, so it looks like there might be a male elk in there. I can see those giant antlers poking between the trees. There he is. Yeah, we are not going to mess with him. We know better than that. But this one right here, yeah, this one might be a good one for us to take. Oh my gosh, wait a second, she's going to attack us? Oh, she didn't run one bit, she is ready to rumble. Jeez, maybe that's not the right one to take down then. I think she might be a little bit too healthy. We're gonna have to try to go after the ones that are just like too scared. Yeah, because of these, oh my gosh, 
They're actually kicking us. They're kicking us as we come through. So we really have to focus our attention on the ones that are already pretty weak, not the ones that are in their prime. It's pretty realistic in that way. Like that's what a wolf in the wild would look for too. We've almost got her though. Just a couple more bites and once again, she should be ready for us to try to take down. She should be stopping in her tracks and putting up the final fight. Okay, here we go, Bumble. Let's see if you can take down your next elk in the mission. Oh, that's always so sad, though, hearing those wails as she just stomps against him. Oh, one more, and now we can reap the rewards. All right, Bee. So now he should have over 400 experience points, which means we're halfway there to potentially attracting a mate. So I think we're going to end this episode right there, and hopefully in the next episode we can finish quest number one. I hope you guys are enjoying Wolf Quest so far. This is actually a pretty neat game, I'm glad you guys suggested it. But for now, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!